While traditional procedures continue to play a role, new materials allow dentists to find minimally invasive solutions to many dental problems. The technique I'm about to show you is a long-term, tooth-saving alternative to traditional crown and bridge dentistry. Once a dentist has mastered direct laminate veneers, the direct crown is the next step in the aesthetic armamentarium. This patient has a leaking resin crown in her upper right lateral incisor. The existing crown is removed by cutting longitudinal grooves with a high speed burr, keeping away from the proximal margin to prevent damaging adjacent teeth. Remaining resin tags can now be removed. Caries removal is carried out with a slow speed round burr. A reflective laser diagnostic instrument, the CAVO Diagnodent, determines the extent of caries removal. Readings above 50 indicate extensive remaining caries. Further caries removal is initiated until a digital reading on the instrument of about 10 is achieved. Corrective exudate at the gingival margins is controlled using trichloroacetic acid to chemically cauterize the gingival tissues. The trichloroacetic acid is washed from the gingiva with water. An antidote solution of sodium bicarbonate, baking soda, is kept on hand if accidental spillage occurs. Using the burr supplied by the manufacturer, a post hole is prepared in the root canal. This is followed by a burr to make a template of the carbon fibre post. The post is placed into the cavity and measured for length. After the post has been trimmed to size, it is placed Again to the canal and check that it is clear of the occlusion in centric, protrusive and lateral movements. The preparation is etched with 37% phosphoric acid for 10 seconds, washed and dried with oil for a year. paper point is inserted into the base of the canal to ensure that all moisture has been removed. A premixed dose of capsulated resin modified glass on cement is injected into the canal up to the cavo margins and the post inserted and seated with a pair of tweezers. The resin modified glass on cement is photo cured for 20 seconds. A layer of Fuji Bond LC is placed over the post and an increment of white tint is coated over the labial surface to block out the black post. The preparation is spot cured for 5 seconds. A fibre reinforced composite resin, New Light F, is placed over the post and a pre-cut resin impregnated ribbon fibre tape is puddled into the surface. The resin and fibre are spot cured for 10 seconds. A layer of opaque resin is placed over the fibres and spot cured. A cervical increment of microfill resin is puddled over the labial surface and spot cured. The surface is then recoated with resin. A microfill resin of body shade is puddled onto the labial surface to the incisal margin using a Ward's carver. Before curing, a small increment 
of white tint is placed on the surface and characterised into the resin. After spot curing, a small increment of incisal shade microfill resin is puddled over the incisal third of the crown. It is spot cured for about five seconds. A paper point is gently wedged interproximally between the crown and the adjacent tooth, and a mylar strip inserted into the proximal space. Coat a small amount of bond with a micro brush, followed by an increment of microfill incisal shade into the proximal area. Wrap the mylar strip around the crown and spot cure the preparation for five seconds on both labial and lingual surfaces. The procedure is repeated on the adjacent surface. Paper points prevent overhangs and also they absorb proximal exudates. The preparation is spot cured on the labial and lingual surfaces. After removal of the paper points, finishing of the crown can be commenced. Initially, with Moore's extra coarse emery discs, commencing at the incisal edge and working over the labial surface. A high speed pointed diamond is being used to contour the cervical margins, followed by a slow speed finishing diamond. Further contouring is carried out with a coarse interproximal soft flex disc. Interproximal finishing is done with aluminium oxide flexible strips. Incisal contouring is carried out with a coarse soft flex disc. The occlusion is checked with articulating paper in centric, protrusive and lateral movements. Lingual adjustments are commenced using a slow speed round diamond burr. After a final adjustment of the facial surface, a mounted high speed pear shaped stone creates the facial contour over the labial surface. Followed by a coarse silicon rubber wheel on the facial and lingual surfaces. A fine silicon wheel furthers polishing the crown. The final polish is achieved with a fine soft flex discs. The margins of the crown are now checked for overhangs. This is the finished restoration. Not only are they a great way to build your practice, but they're fun to do and they provide an excellent fiscal return. If you'd like some more information about this technique or other videos in the series, I can be contacted on the following email or fax numbers or check out the website. And thanks for watching this video.